For Katrin Schmidt, winning this year's German Book Prize was a major plot twist. After all, one of the other shortlisted novels was by the winner of the 2009 Nobel Prize in Literature. I have to say, I still feel a bit happier for Hertha Müller's Nobel Prize win than I do winning this award. It all just happened so fast, it was a bit much. Her book, Du stirbst nicht, or You're Not Going to Die, follows a woman's slow and difficult recovery process after a cerebral hemorrhage. The story is semi-autobiographical. In 2002, a blood vessel burst in Katrin Schmidt's brain. The novel has been on the German bestseller list for weeks, but the media frenzy at this year's German book fair took the author by surprise. It's not your first award? No, but it's the biggest distinction I've received since the aneurysm burst. And at the time, I thought I'd have to retire. So it's a real comeback. I'm very pleased. Du Stirbsnicht is a story of limits of helplessness, of paralysis. After waking from a coma, the protagonist must take back control of her body and memory. The Book Prize jury praised it as a novel about recapturing the world, inseparably bound with recovering the ability to speak. What does language mean for one's identity? You experience that yourself. What does it mean? It was crucial. I didn't want any other therapy besides just listening to words, words, words. Because then the words came back and each word held a piece of memory or a piece of the world. And the fact that it could all come back made me really optimistic. Katrin Schmidt was born in 1958 in the East German town of Gotha. She studied psychology in Jena and published her first poems in the early 80s. She took part in the protest movements in 1989 and as part of the United Left, an alliance of East German opposition groups, she participated in a roundtable forum on systematic reform. Her experiences in East Germany influenced the novels she wrote after reunification, bizarrely comic tales of family life in the suburbs. East Germany's democratic transformation served as a backdrop for her latest award-winning novel, Du stirbst nicht. Uwe Telkamp won last year's book prize. He wrote about East Germany. Hertha Müller, who wrote about life under the Romanian dictatorship, won this year's Nobel Prize in Literature. You've also written about your ties to East Germany, and I've read that you'll address it again in your next novel. Is this the stuff of literature today? I don't know. I only know that the people involved, the novel's protagonists, are still alive today. And I can't see things from a West German perspective because that wasn't my experience. So for me, these things will always be relevant because I lived through them. If I base my novels in the here and now alone, the memory factor goes down the drain completely, and that's something I can't imagine happening in one of my novels. This year, the Book Prize jury chose to recognize Katrin Schmidt, an author who until now was not very well known. But her award-winning work bravely explores a universal theme. Du stirbst nicht, an artful, thoughtful, and masterful invocation of the power of human language.